On today's episode of Watch Share Go, we install the new Holly Billet fuel pump in the 1979 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2. Wraith 2. What is going on, guys? I'm Watch Share Go, and today, here with Josh, we are working on the burnout monster that rolls smoke itself. Um, disregard this in case uh, the videos aren't in order. Uh, we're working on that part. <laughs> we'll just blur that out. Yeah, it's just got a big blur <laughs> in the center. Uh, here we have our Holly 12-133 intake retrofit fuel module. And this is intake retrofit fuel module, skip right to the good stuff, is this gigantic billet capped system. And we're gonna drill a hole in our factory tank and install this thing which is gonna be sweet. It's got a hydro mat to suck up fuel from anywhere on the bottom of the tank. We've got a big old, this is the 450. This is the big boy pump here. We didn't go with the old 255 that ever, yeah. we didn't go with this trusty standby, we went big. I'm gonna go big. We don't even need that because we have another Holly part. Let me go get this, our 12-161. This is the retrofit long bracket kit. And our tank is 15 inches deep, so we needed a little bit more billet. This one is quite a bit longer than the one that ships with the kit. There's the two brackets for comparison. You can set your pump length uh, or your pump depth after you mount this with those screws up there. And then the pump can slide up and down on this thing, which is super cool. So we're gonna use the big one. And we have a longer uh, tube for the pump itself too, to clamp onto the pump. All we gotta do is put this together, get the thing out of the car. The gas tank has to come out of the car. Uh, I went ahead and just unhooked all that a few minutes ago. And there's a lot more unbolting to do. Once the tank's out, we're going to drill a giant hole in it. Well, it's not quite giant. It's a three and a quarter inch hole. Then we can put this billet bad boy up in there and all that's left after that, running some fuel lines to the front and power. We have to get that hose off. It does not want to cooperate. We already pulled off the hose clamp right there. So now we're adding a little heat and it should hopefully slide right off. Oh. <laughs> Ripped it. <laughs> Preheating our new tube here. We gotta get it a little bit more flexible to go on. Go, girl, go. Nice. Really strange, huh? I don't actually see where that mounts. Are you reading instructions? Does it fit? Ah. Fits perfectly. By the power of Thor. All right, so. Uh, the fuel tank is glued down, and we just read the factory workshop manual here, and it says, I'll read it to you because it's a great manual to read. After a while, carry out an examination, skip that part, drive the wedges between the bottom of the fuel tank and the luggage compartment floor. Ensure that the wedges do not exert too much force, otherwise damage to the fuel tank may result. The fuel tank may not become free instantaneously as separation may be a gradual process. Therefore, the wedges should be left in position for a period of time. And it says continue to repeat the exercise until separation takes place and the fuel tank can be withdrawn. So let's go withdraw a fuel tank. Ah, yes. Bang on it. It's like an exorcism. <laughs> withdraw it. <laughs> you, you're like, that's withdrawn. Withdraw. It actually seems like that. Got it, like immediately. <laughs> Boom. Josh has got the hammer. Hey, it's off. Okay, I gotta go disconnect the fuel lines from below the vehicle. So uh, we do have to jack it up a little bit and then uh, I've got to get under there, get a screwdriver in there, pop out some warm clamps. Boom, withdrawn. The manual actually made it sound like this is supposed to take like four hours. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I hope you got some time. So the manual's a little dramatic. The book time for this probably said like 24 hours, <laughs> so you could withdraw the fuel tank properly. Figure out what that ring goes to. Oh, it's the emergency release for the fuel. That's what I thought it was not. Okay. Well, it's because it doesn't work. Okay, do it. Yep, it moves. There it goes. This just needs some lubrication. It moves. Okay. Here. Uh, oh, yeah, we can fix this. It works terribly. Like the solenoid tries to do it inside the car mm -hmm. and it does not work. So it looks like it has a bunch of grease on it. Let's put more grease on it. Like old dried up grease. We're fixing things here. Don't know if the electric one works yet. Although I can hear the solenoid like trying to pull in. It just couldn't do it. Uh, let's pull the cable. Here we go. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> I was doing it a second ago. <laughs> well, it's still better than it was. Hey, what are you doing down here? Oh, you know, just the usual. Try and get this clamp off the uh, fuel return line. And as soon as I opened it up, it started dripping down my arm and all over the place. Uh, there was nothing in the supply side because we ran it down. And of course, somehow the return is loaded with fuel. So I'm just trying to get this clamp off now. Trying to get this piece of junk pump out with two screwdrivers in my hand at the same time. Also, it's like bolted to the frame. So I gotta undo that. Okay, do I have the clamp out? Yeah. Thank you, sir. You know, I brought you this hose cutter a long time ago. I know. So that you could just like pop the hoses off. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. It just starts pouring on my head. All right, all good. Okay. Now all we gotta do is uh, remove the tank. With well, now we have to withdraw the tank, huh? <laughs> withdraw. Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. I'm going to the bank. Can it be withdrawn? Oh, you know, the best part is it's going to leak a bunch of fuel because it's all the fuels down here. It's got to be about out, right? Oh, they're bolted on. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. There's some fittings right there. Gonna make a mess. Gonna make a mess. It is time to make the mess. There's our tank. You know, we should garage yeah, tank. let's go straight outside. Some very intense planning and uh, dumping out all the fuel into our drain pan over there uh, and looking at this for a long time, we guesstimate that our pump will be absolutely ideal right where the foam ring is at here. So here's a baffle that's welded in inside. Right here, there's a big expansion tank. Right here is the fuel level sender. It flops up and down right inside these. And right here is the filler. So our game plan, because donuts and burnouts, is this section. I'll hit it. Maybe we should take some tape and... I brought a rag over it. Oh yeah, let's shove a rag in this bad boy. Oh yeah. So that's our inert gas. It's a little bit of argon. And uh, we're gonna let that kind of blow the fumes out of the tank for a minute here. And then we're gonna drill. And I, honestly, I think we're ready to drill now. Face shields and bomb suits, <laughs> yeah. just in case. That's not working very well. <laughs> Got it. Let's take a look down inside the tank. There's a little bit of a little bit of metal from what we just drilled out. Well, it does look like it, it might hold true that it was cleaned 10 years ago. So I guess we just uh, grabbed the vacuum, sucked out all the rust. We didn't explode. Boom. That's all that matters. We live to wrench another day. If you want to talk about backbreaking work, I just vacuum the tank out and then I would flip it upside down and shake it and uh, hold it like, like this and just keep shaking it until the dirt fell to one side. We vacuumed it out and vacuumed it out probably 10 times. We got a bunch of rounds in until things stopped coming out. And now it's time for the fuel sock. So we mounted it on the rod Yep. to get it about a quarter of an inch up off the floor of the tank. That's it. So the sock is sitting down flush in the bottom of the tank. All the fuel. And we just eyeballed it and got it right on the first try. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling pretty awesome right now. We did know we needed the longest rod just to pull this off too. We did. Yeah, because this tank is deep. <clears throat> All right, you ready so, to install l sock? It's just camera. I think we're gonna orient our lines this way and then run them right down Absolutely. and out the floor. So we wanna orient the sock. I noticed the sock has. Yeah, and we gotta keep it out of there. But I don't think we can exactly True. keep it out of there. No. So it's gonna get folded up. Yep. A little bit on these sides, but the majority of our socks gonna be on the floor. Where it needs to be. So and we're Let's... gonna be doing left-handed donuts. Right. So all the fuel's gonna be. We, on this we calculated our donut <laughs> engineering here, <laughs> so it should be good. Engineering. All right, I'll donut. hold this. Pull donut the engineers. And we'll slap it on. Slap it. So the pump's got that. Slappers only. Finger. Oh, doesn't snap. <laughs> it's not snap, but it's fully seated. <laughs> Going in. And then we like accidentally scratch the thing out. <laughs> oh, that sounds beautiful going in. <laughs> it's like steel wool. <laughs> now you have to open up each one of these screws and they turn, they flip out like 90 degrees. So you back off each one just a little bit and then you can rotate them and use that to lock the pump into your tank. After getting the pump back out, 
uh, we were able to loosen up all of these threads here and now you can see the gasket just sinking down there. So all that's left is wiring and a little bit of AN line. It actually said you can tighten it to 14 inch pounds so you could probably get it really tight. Although 14 inch pounds is like it's like a little over a foot pound. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I touched it with my pinky and now it is tight. That is a highly upgraded factory tank. We're kind of stuck. We can't exactly put this back in. The fuel port's on the bottom because it's used to like gravity feed to an electric pump that was underneath the car. Uh, we're going to block those off. So we need to get some uh, thread sealant and some brass plugs and make that permanent. So as you can see, those lines are going away. So that's our to-do list here. Also the fuel gauge never worked, although I think it was the gauges. I guess what we need to do is like put a meter on it and then just flip the tank and that should tell us if it's working or not. Epic Holly pump reinstalled. We are going to have to go get a bunch of fuel line. What is this? It's probably marked, isn't it? Oh yeah, 8.7 millimeter fuel line. All right, I'll just go get some of that. <laughs> anyway, we got to get a bunch of fuel line to replace all of these vent tube hoses. I just want it all to be nice and new. So I'm gonna swap all that. We're gonna put this on hold now because our Epic pump is installed. Then we'll put it all back as soon as I make a quick store run to make sure everything's buttoned up nicely. All right, I rolled back underneath the car. We went to work. I took every piece of this junky rubber hose off there and uh, we cleaned up everything, cleaned up the wiring that used to run to the factory pump, insulated the uh, old positive wire to that pump because obviously we're going with a completely new system and the Holly will actually control the fuel pump. So there's no reason for us to be messing with any of this anymore. And uh, here, look at all the trash that was in the fuel filter. There you go. A good look at that $1 Spectre filter we can throw away now. There is the beautiful Billet Holly pump. It will support 1000 horsepower. So, somebody mentioned Mongolian rod vendors. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjrgo.com where you can get cool shirts, uh, not like this one, but all of the current Watch Jrgo ones. The Project Roll Smoke shirt is coming very soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Seats holding up? Yeah, definitely need another coat. Yeah, it seemed like, uh, you know, before when you pushed on them, it like displaced an entire area, and now the area just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. Like that's only about a, what a... It used to do this whole like back. Yeah, the entire seat moved <laughs> when you touched it, so it's a lot better. Coming back to life. Slowly but surely, it's gonna be a nice place to hang out. It took the fingerprints. Yeah. <laughs> <I felt laughs> it, took, it took your fingerprints off. I felt it. Well, if you need to commit any crimes, you'll be good to go now, so. No worries. I do like cracks. <laughs> it's actually a, a bonus here. <laughs>